it's a bit controversial, but tell us about your relationship with um, Abate Kofia Saribrakon. There, there are rumors that you had, you f he worked here at some yeah. point, and that you fell out with him, and that you guys had problems. How true is that? No, um, he was my boss actually, and uh, we had a very cordial relationship. But the moment he left, there were a series of allegations. None of them was true. Some said, oh, he uh, embezzled money and he was sacked. Some said, I back, uh, what do you call it? You undermined him. I undermined him. Uh, some said a lot, a lot of things, but none was true. The, the bottom line was that um, ahead of the Can 2008 tournament, mm. Rex Dankwa and Co. decided to form a consortium and then um, centralize the commentary so that every radio station who wanted to pick the feed would pay to the uh, LOC at the time. You get it? And uh, Abate, Osesibe, um, Odinuhu, and a couple of sports journalists were selected to run commentary so that other stations would pay to LOC would pick them. But Peace FM said, no, we don't want to pick a feed. We want to pay for the right and run the commentary ourselves. Um, unfortunately for Abate, at the time, because they had finished everything with the LOC, agreed on how much to pay them. I think they were, they were supposed to pay them in dollars, and it was better than running it for your local station. So Abate preferred doing it for the LOC. And whilst Peace FM was trying to negotiate for its rights, like as a right to run the commentary on its own. Um, somebody was also feeding from the LOC, was also feeding my boss, Father Dixon, the information that Abati was trying to sabotage the effort of Peace FM because they had promised to pay them big money if they were to use the centralized system. So my boss was very unhappy. Eventually, Peace FM got the right. So when we started the camp 2008, if anybody would remember, on the opening day, Abati was the MC at the stadium. While Peace FM was running commentary, he didn't run the commentary. The reason was that my boss, Father Dixon, had said that because he did not help him fight to get a commentary right, he was not going to allow him to run commentary. So Abate decided to do his own thing. Two, three days into the tournament, my boy said, okay, uh, he will let things go so Abate can join the commentary team. Apparently, um, the day my boss told him he was not going to run commentary, he was peeved, so he decided to write a resignation letter. So when he met us again and said, oh, Abate, now I've, I've allowed things to go so you can join the team and run commentary, he said no. Then he submitted the resignation letter. It took my boss almost two months to reply because he, he was a pioneer for the station and they didn't want him to go. So they were dilly-dallying waiting for him to probably come and render an apology or retract, whatever, but he was insistent on leaving. So eventually they replied his resignation that, okay, management has accepted your resignation, you can move on. So that was the, the whole thing. All those rumors and allegations, as we speak, we are very close. When the father died, I went to MC uh, the, the funeral, everything. We, we still act as brothers. All wow. those allegations were not true.